Yo, yo, you just caught this yellow iguana, bro. Grab him. Oh, shit. Yo, where'd you get that yellow iguana at, bro? Nah, it's door to my house. Dang, it's called a yellow iguana. Notice that he's not green. He's it's super highlighter, super yeah. light. A yellow fluorescent hue. This is a yellow iguana. Do you guys know why iguanas turn different colors? Red, orange, yellow, brown, black? Leave a comment. Let us know, man. Uh, Warning, this video contains graphic content question, and is intended for mature it's audiences iguanas, only. It's, it's for educational general, purposes down, only. Like, Viewer like discretion is advised. Every it shows graphics and gore. If the time comes down to it. So. Y'all hear that? Say that again on the camera, bro. Every man should know how to survive at the count. If the time comes down to it. And when I say man, I mean mankind. Men, women, children. Men, women, children. You guys should all know these basic skills. Because one day, guess what? What if Walmart, what if Walmart goes what on the strike? Zombies happen, my guy. What, what if, if the, the purge happens? What if the purge happens? What if really can Man, this is Gordo the Loke right here, man. Y'all check, out his, Loke. check, check out his channel. Check out his channel, man. This man is crazy, dog. You to the plan, you, blood. You bad. can't tell, bro. Stick Look to at the this plan. man, boy. Tatted from head to toe. Straight from where you from, bro? Cali, nigga. Cali, bro. This is the Cali. Chico. Nigga. Shit, go for my channel. It's my homie Rob. We've been rocking for like seven years. I got some shit coming for y'all. Maybe a whole interview if you want to do it for me. Yo, all my Cali followers, man. Follow this man. This man is mad cool, bro. He's he knows a lot about some shit, boys. He's all about tattoos, vaping, iguanas, fishing, man. This man does it all. Oh, shit. She's on un un unfertilized eggs. Yeah. The connects, let's get it. Oh, fuck it. That's crazy. That's that iguana. Caviar, caviar bro. Oh, great caviar. A whole roasted iguana right there. That's beautiful, bro. Hey, beautiful, bro. Whole roasted iguana, yellow iguana this weekend. Yep. And you clean it. There's a little hole here, right where its anus is. Always clean that hole, man. That hole is always covered in bacteria from shit, probably when you skin it wrong. Always stick your finger in it, man. Right there in the tail. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay. See that giant hole right there? Well, let's get them a close up there. Make sure you get all up in there. A lot of poop and bacteria goes there. You don't want that's like his colon cavity, basically, right? That's like the hip thing. That's like that little gap. Yeah. Want me to, or you want to do another? You can do another one if you want. No, I'm saying do it exactly how it happened. Like just do it just like that. Hey, let me feel them teeth though. Got tiny teeth. Yeah, that's just dumb. Damn. A lot of people don't know this, but the iguanas. Uh, tongue is actually on the back and not the tip. Did you guys know that? For real? The tip of the tongue is in the back. The this tip part, of the tongue is on the this back. This is actually the middle of the tongue. The oh. tip of the tongue, when it comes out, is actually this right here. Oh. oh th he puts. This is what cap. This is where the stick. This is what captures the bug right here. Oh. Right that is fucking his sick, tongue, dog. He's a little dead. I can't stretch out his tongue muscle. But it basically it shoots out a tongue like this, and then, and then like this, and then curls it back in. That's a cool fact, bro. I did oh, not know about that. Excellent. Complicated mechanism. <laughs> Complicated but effective, though, right? Yeah. He's got very tiny little like razor sharp teeth. It's not gonna, it's not gonna cut deep inside you, but because they're so thin and so sharp, it'll rip right through you like like butter. Oh my god, bro. That's that's wild. I never seen that before. Never seen inside of an iguana's mouth. Oh, look here, see that's how he would stick out his tongue. Seven muscles. Right like a chameleon, right? Different intricate muscles, kind of like a, like like a spring mechanism, right? And then just shoots, right? Slingshot. Like slingshot for real, bro. That's that's crazy, man. You got a bag? You got the bag? Here? Yeah. Just want to make sure it's nice and rinsed down, nice and clean, hygiene and everything. Yeah, you know, gotta make sure it's nice and clean. No, I just put in the fridge. Oh yeah, tell me why you shouldn't freeze iguana, bro. Uh, or why it's not as good as to freeze iguana. You can freeze it, but iguana meat, because it's so low on fat, and it's just, it's just not really good meat. There's it's like no, a fish, it's like fish, yeah, right? there's no point in preserving it because the meat will dry up. It'll, because it doesn't have any fat, after it dies, everything decomposes a little bit quicker. So it's gonna shrivel up, it's gonna tense, and then when you cook it, it's gonna dry it even more, and then you're gonna have like a really bad jerky. 
and not that many people like it. You're gonna have a, some jerky, right? Yeah, when you kill an iguana, man, always gotta eat it fresh. So Just eat it fresh, right? Just do it, do it that way. That way. That way. <laughs> Just do it that way, man. Always. But obviously, not everybody can get a fresh iguana, but you know, frozen. It'll still probably taste decent and be edible and stuff, but nothing's gonna it's be like cool, the fresh. Man, very important. Y'all see that right there, right? Comes very Make sure you clean that, that right there. That's like the colon cavity right there. That's where his like his bit large intestine, all the poop and, and all this. You see some like black stuff here. You can get like a uh, like your knife. I didn't bring the knife on me. You got a lot. Primitive tools. Prim look, this is primitive right here. Primitive tools Just right there. Put that black stuff out. Get that membrane out of there. That's from the gut and stuff like that. Yeah. This is primitive hunting right here. Big, ain't nothing gonna be better than a fresh iguana. That it, shit frozen is gonna be drier really than a grandma at the Grand Canyon. Make sure you get underneath all that. All that yellow stuff you don't want. <laughs> you wanna see the ribs while white. Nice. You want that shit mad clean. You know, fresh and clean. Awesome, bro. Doing an excellent job right here, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I can't wait. Ben, I'm hungry now. Nah. Beautiful, bro. Damn, you did that really nice, man. Like a nice little carpet you can put over your fireplace, you know? Look how yellow that skin is. And then when you salt it, it's just gonna, it's gonna fuck up your salting process. It's gonna make the process a lot longer and harder. I also don't right? recommend people salt the iguana skin. I learned that the hard way. Don't, if you're gonna preserve it, don't salt it. Only salt it if you're not gonna preserve it at that moment. You wanna prolong the cleanliness and the proper hygiene of the skin. Then you can salt it. But if it's like, oh, now it's kind of late, you're not gonna get much sun, so it's a good thing to salt it. But it's best to do this in the morning. Leave the skin out in the sun and it'll dry out really quick, extremely quick. Nice. And then if you wanna, if that's if you wanna preserve it for like decoration. If you wanna use it for fashion or something, you might want to pickle it. I don't know what you, I don't know what uh, Americans call it, but it's called pickle. Uh, it should be called pickle. It should be the same thing. You mix it with uh, water. Glycerin water. Okay. Alcohol. Well, you could look up different methods. There's different methods yeah. on what you can do. I've heard like. Uh, in Cuba, bro, we use glycerin or uh, acrylic. We just, we just like no. You in Cuba, we pickle it in vinegar, straight up vinegar. Just, just straight vinegar. Okay. Like a half solution of water, half solution of vinegar, like a 50-50. Or maybe like uh, 40 water, 60 vinegar. And the that point gets, is you want to pickle it. The point is to pickle it. That gets the job done too, right? Yeah, that makes it that makes it really not only preserves it, but it makes it flexible. So you can like easily Most of the skin can come off really with your thumb. But my fingers hurt from skinning too much so using the tip of a razor. Any rock you can scrape a tile across it it'll arrowhead or something too maybe? An arrowhead, yeah man. <laughs> nice. Keep it basic. You can use very uh, basic primitive tools, but if you obviously if you have a razor or something better, that's just less work for you, you know. But uh, nice rock would do well too. So, like, like just to recap, when you're about to skin it, make sure you take all the meat off. Make sure you take all the veins, the fat, the little nitty gritty, and then when you're gonna preserve it, it's just gonna you know make the job a lot easier, cleaner, more efficient, and you know. Just a just overall cleaner job. Quick, we just want to make a quick disclaimer, real quick. All these iguanas, we're not just killing them for the skin. Matter of fact, we're killing them to eat. But the skin, we're not going to waste it, so we're going to try our best to preserve it. But we're not just out here just getting animals and iguanas just for their leather and stuff like that. Yeah, That's man, don't don't kill animals for their skin. If you're gonna kill an animal, it's because you need to. It's it's either you or him. Survival of the fittest for eat food. But don't don't poach them. Don't hunt them down for their skin. Because in reality, man, it's just an iguana. Its skin is not worth an Arizona can, so you're not. You shouldn't really kill them for their skin. Iguano, get uno. You don't want him. He makes good pets. Oh, don't be scared. It's just a little lizard. Just educational purposes. That's it, man. That's it. Yeah, man. Respect animals. Respect animals is just all for awareness. If you do choose to eat one and you do choose to preserve the skin, we hope that this video is somewhat helpful. And if you guys have any questions, uh, you guys can go ahead and leave a comment. And this yeah. skin is not going to be sold or anything. This is probably just going to be given as gift to subscribers. This is for educational purposes. Nice job, bro.
Because one day, guess what? What if Walmart? What if Walmart goes what on the strike? Zombies happen, my guy. What, what if, if the, the purge happens? What if the, what the purge, purge happens? What if the zombies happen for real, bro? All right, there's a little, not fun fact, but like fun little myth. Legend has it that wherever you salt an iguana, that iguana is gonna be so pissed off at you that nothing will ever grow the connect, so from the get it. spot that you salted. So you're true. That's a true fact. So you're saying like right over here? Right over here. When I'm done salting him, nothing, everything in this area is gonna die. Now I want the viewers to tell me the real scientific reason why that happened. I'll reveal it in the next video why that. If you guys wanna know how to salt it, I already did the first layer. You give it like a nice simple layer just to rub it, do the basic. Oh, salting is really good for not only drying it, but the salt actually helps kill bacteria that will, that will create fungus fungus in your skin and if you're trying to preserve it and there's like a fungus growing in it you've lost the skin it's useless it's gonna start breaking shriveling so the salt has two purposes prolonging the, the state of the skin and also kills bacteria now once you give it like once or two nice little salt rubs I don't know how to put this in like, just imagine you're rolling like a burrito and just Rolling. Yeah, guys, imagine you guys are rolling a burrito. Yeah, like a taco or something. Burrito. You got the tortilla, you got all the stuff it in the middle. Connect, so let's get it. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold it like they do at a. At a. Chipotle? Chipotle? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, know. But if you, see, if you see that the skin overlaps the other skin, you're missing salt. You should add more salt. Make sure there's enough salt. Yeah. So all that, like he was saying, is gonna like, you know, dehydrate it, yeah. uh, cure it, kill all the bacteria. But you need a lot so, you know, the. Uh, the Whatever's in there doesn't get overwhelmed. Everything will, you know. Yeah, because if you put too little salt and there's too much moisture, especially after you just freshly rinsed it, the salt's gonna not gonna it's gonna fail. It's not gonna do its job properly. You just wanna give it some nice little folds. I always like rolling it from the side I begin. It's coming apart. Remember, guys, roll it just like a burrito at Chipotle. And then like a sushi at the end, towards the end. This one's actually short. You got the string on you, man. So you're gonna wanna roll something like this, like a maceta, right, like that. A nice little arepa, right there. That's what you wanna see. A little bit of salt down there. Oh, damn, that almost cut me. Get it on there nice and tight. And what do you do? You leave it on ice? Cut this for me? Leave it on ice or just it? Nah, you, you put it, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show the viewers right now. Don't be upset if the salt escapes it. That's kind of why you want to overfill it with salt. Because you will lose salt. It's so small, it's hard to work with. That's what you want. Right there. Perfect. And then just for the health, you want to pour more salt on it. Let me see the other tub of salt. Mm -hmm. And you said you paid 50 cents for the salt? Yep. Yeah guys, don't be don't be uh don't be shy on the salt. Salt's like a dollar. I know it's some people are tight, but when it comes to the preserving skin, the more the better. And the more guarantee you are of having better results. So it's always worth it to put that little extra pinch. A little extra dollar or two. Like this right here for two iguanas, I think it took five of these little cans. I have three here and two over there. So you're gonna wanna have it like this, soaked in salt. You're gonna wanna try and get as much air as you can out of it because air has water in it. it has moisture and humidity in it. And also when you do this, you're gonna wanna leave it for like three to four days if you want it. Well, no more than three to four days. Don't exceed four. 
more days and you're gonna try to make something nice out of it because after four or five days it becomes too hard, too dry, and too stiff. So because curing is like curing only applies to meat when you want to cure meat to eat it raw. This is salting, this is preserving. It expires. That's a word I'm gonna It expires after four days. After four days, it becomes it becomes a uh, sandpaper. Really hard shit. You're not gonna be able to do anything with it. Oh another thing. I know people you need to have discipline when you do this don't open the bag and close it back in because the minute you open it to show your friends or your uh, family or friends the minute that skin comes in contact with air again the outside it's gonna get humid again you're gonna resalt it if you play with humidity up and down that's how you get bacteria and fungus so from the moment that you salt it don't open it unless you're ready to something right there and this I'm going to dry tomorrow morning. I'm not gonna wait for this. What's good everybody? If y'all enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. We're gonna have new adventures coming very soon that you don't wanna miss. Until next time guys, just keep on catching.